Good morning, folks. We've got several articles to hit today. We'll look at the weather system that pounded the south central USA. But first, we've got space weather and we start with our star to see the bright active regions on the north, which have remained silent. Another coronal hole in the southern hemisphere. Meanwhile, geomagnetic conditions have quieted down at Earth. We also have several plasma filaments to watch. They have been more eruptive than the sunspots the last several days, finding them both north and south. The major watch right now, however, is indeed the incoming sunspots. Two huge umbral cores crested the last 36 hours, and any development there could produce significant flaring. It is a simple beta setup for now, but in need of watching for development. The geomagnetic storm may be over, but excess charging hazard for satellites exists due to the energization of the radiation belts. This is a topic of two papers on deck today about the severity of the risk to space technology from space weather both in sustained orbits and in very low Earth orbit, along with a call for better prediction and analysis of the risks posed by the Sun. Very lucky to have still not seen a major blast from our star, given the number of vital craft in orbit at this time. Tornadoes dropped in Texas and Oklahoma over the last day, and we can see the key track of the storms with both a macro-scale west-to-east movement and the micro-scale south-to-north movement within the system. This is how nearly all major tornado outbreaks look, and just look at that lightning. Very powerful for November. Lastly, folks, we are looking at mantle conductivity and induction studies from solar activity. Let's recall, even modern space weather, which is orders of magnitude below what the sun is capable of, induces current into the mantle, and in the bigger blasts, the LLSVPs and deeper structures can induce that energy all the way to the core. This mantle conductivity and induction is one of the main reasons that solar forcing of volcanoes and earthquakes is detectable now even with lower space weather impacts and in the greatest of the solar flash events. We have the potential for major effects internally, mantle heaving, plate shifting and breaking. The sun is due for those bigger blasts and Earth's weakening magnetic field is leaving us more and more vulnerable to those induction effects. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more about this at the links below the video to our books and playlists and more. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.